let's do this. Hello everybody, Jay Nero here, and welcome to game three of uh, Metal vs. Spring. And once again, same old thing, an unusual Arabia Mirror match, this time with Ethiopians, one of my favorite civs in the game. And Metal looking for his 2k2 still, one point away. So, that last match he won it, thought he'd get the 2k2, but fell short, just barely. Uh, so, uh, looking at the maps, I don't know. I don't know. Spring, he can wall up on this side. His gold's way out here forward. That is really far forward. In his secondary goals, even farther away. That, yeah. That's just all sorts of bad. So, he's gonna want to play real aggressive. And he could wall up everything else. And look, look, look at this. Look at, look at this. These guys just trash talking like crazy. It's every game. They start off with some trash talk. I love these guys. These two just goof off all the time. They they know how to have fun with this game, and that's one of the things I love about this community. Everybody just knows how to goof off. But Ethiopians, really fun civ, which I'll get to in a second once I finish with the map explanation. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. Here's the secondary gold. Okay, that's uh, acceptable. If he walls up on this side, then he can keep that. But his gold's not in a great spot. And Metal, he does have his back gold, he does have his back stone. Wait, I thought that was a mining camp, but that's a house. Okay. Um, the neutral golds are more towards Metal. And uh, his he does have some wallet potential. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but he's kind of wide open. He's gonna have to either run out really far to wall up. You can see. Yeah, he's gonna either have to run all the way out here to wall, run all the way out here, or he's gonna have to make some makeshift walls. So metal's more open, but spring has a worse generation. As if that even set out. I'm not sure if that is going to even it out, but whatever. Uh, but Ethiopians. Uh, really, really fun civ. They got uh, faster firing archers. And I think... It's 15% faster. I'm gonna have to check that one. Uh, okay, it's 18% faster. And if you're wondering why this is all bugged out, uh, I tried to install a mod, and it completely messed up my uh, graphics, which is also why the screen's a little smaller. As if I try it on a larger resolution, it completely uh, bugs it out. Actually, I can probably just show you what it, it looks like. And that's what it looks like. So, that's why it's a bit smaller. Just in case anybody was wondering. Um, but faster firing archers, they get 100 gold and 100 food when advancing to the next stage. Which, it kind of seems like a strange bonus, and it really is. But that means that they could, they could do, uh, like a night rush, if they just do like a fast castle. And that does make a fast castle a lot easier for them as well. Um, uh, just because they don't need to collect as much gold, so they get extra food, and so it, it doesn't make a night rush the best option, but it's a good option. I'll say that. 
And they can also defend from an Irish as well. They get free pikemen upgrade. Which I think is really nice. Because I really like my pikemen. So, uh, free pikemen upgrade. Uh, kind of nice. No real economy bonuses other than the food and gold. But, uh, that's, that's just kind of what they got. And then they've got the Shoto Warrior, of course. And some great siege. Shoto Warrior, I, okay. One of my favorite things to do is just be a complete troll. And just make a bunch of Shoto Warriors run into the enemy base and take out their town center. It's so dumb, but it's so much fun to do at the same time. Uh, with Spring, typical Spring, he's going for, uh, Drush in a Man-at-Arms, and that's just kind of typical of him. It's what we've seen, I think, all three games. But he's gonna come forward and, uh, hit the berries here. And, uh, Metal's probably gonna have to run. It's not quite situated to... And I try and cook wall. But for the time being, he's stalled that house, which means Metal could be housed, and he is temporarily. He's having to take three villagers to make that house, just so he's uh, not pop locked. Uh, but oh, that's not good. And uh, losing some HP there. And Metal's gone for scouts. Uh, if you were paying attention to uh, what they were saying earlier, uh, with all the trash talking and whatnot, Metal said that with the Ethiopians, he's seen scouts into skirms and asked Spring if it was a good idea. I don't know if he's actually going to try that, just because that seems so weird to say your strategy before you do anything. But, if anyone's going to do something dumb like that, uh, Metal's one of the players who will do that. I say he's the only player because, you know, obviously, Viper and whatnot. But, uh, Metal's definitely a player who will do that. And I think Spring was expecting this because he's already got a few spears out, he's gone forward with them. Metal's gonna loop around this side, and I'm not sure what damage he can do. If he gets in here, he's gonna have to run straight through the TC. But if he gets in here, he can do quite a bit of damage against these uh, Lumberjacks. But yeah, he's gonna see there's no way into Spring's base. Spring's walled up on this side and on this side. So he really has no way in. The good thing for Metal is that Spring's gold is really oddly situated, and Spring's not even on gold yet. And if you're wondering how he was able to get the man arms, it's the plus hundred gold that they get with advancing the, the next stage. So that's how he could afford that. And uh, yeah, his resources are pretty low. He's not on gold. And I'm not sure what he's going to plan on doing, really. He's got spears out. He can make spears. And he's got skirms out. He's got one archer, and that's all he can afford with no gold. He's just now going over to gold. And Metal has instead decided to go for uh, scouts into archers. And makes in a few skirms as well. It's just, you know, because why not? So, he's gonna be able to clean all this up with the archers. He's still keeping his scouts alive, though. Uh, a couple of them are on low HP. And could get one shot if he's not careful. And there goes one. Holy cow! Two scouts just dropping at the same time. There we go. All scouts cleaned up. Wow, that's just a really good use of uh, that army there from Spring. Mopping up all four scouts. Wow. That was... That was impressive. It doesn't really seem like all that much, but... Killing four scouts, just like that... Uh, that means... 
the metal doesn't have them, obviously. That also means he can't really scout that much. You can see his scouting. It's not all that great. I'm sure Springs isn't all that great either. And it's really the, the scattered resources that matter late game. Like this stone over here is, I actually think it's a uh, metal secondary stone. Yeah, it is. Um, and fortunately, the neutral goals are in the middle, so the players know where they are. But it's it's the neutral resources. Uh, okay, there's actually these two up here that neither of them see. Spring doesn't see him. Metal doesn't see him. So they might be going for those because they're obviously going to be fighting over these golds in the middle. So I think whoever finds these golds first uh, could have a big advantage. But right now, Spring just content to uh, make a whole ton of farms. Metal also make a whole ton of farms. Both of them getting wheelbarrow. Both of them going for a feudal war. And that is quite a few skirms actually from Spring. He will be able to clean up this whole army. And he has the upgrades for them. And Metal might find a couple vill picks here if he can hit this wood line and also these farmers. But I'm sure Spring's paying attention here. He doesn't actually know where this army is. He's just now gonna see it. Bam! Hop into the TC. Wall out these archers. Oh, that's not oh, run back metal. Uh, yeah, okay. That's one archer down. Two archers down, low HP for quite a few of them. And look at that Vil Micro. That woman be running back and forth. And okay, one Vil goes down. Almost two of them, but now this army's over here for Spring, and he's gonna chase this entire army away. And he could lose. Okay, he did lose another Vil. But these are very low HP units. And Spring's gonna easily pick those up. Or, uh, pick those off. And now Metal's going for the Castle Age. He's advanced now. He's not on stone. So he's not thinking of building a castle. He does have quite a few on gold, though. So, uh, either crossbow or knight. And with the amount of archers he's got, yeah, he's going crossbow. So, yeah, plenty on wood, plenty on gold. He's gonna be fully happy. Full and fully happy? He's gonna be happy with going full crossbow. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, I am not. I don't think he has resources to be able to go with a full boom, though. He needs. Uh, well, well, maybe. He does have plenty of bills. I heard a bill die. Oh, let's be out here. And Spring's now advancing to the castle age as well. It's going to be about a minute and a half behind. Which, it doesn't seem like that much. But that's enough time for uh, Metal to get Crossbow and Bodkin before Spring even uh, clicks those upgrades. And he's seen all the archery. So Spring knows that Metal's going to go with full crossbow. And I want to see what he does in response. Either uh, more skirms, or a siege workshop, or maybe a bit of both. So there we go. Metal's hit the castle age. Boom, boom. Bodkin. He's actually done both saw, but there we go. Crossbow. Bodkin, crossbow. Immediately out. And he's going forward. And I'm not sure how this fight's gonna go. Metal uh, tries to fight up this hill. He does have the tech advantage, but he's fighting uphill. And there are skirms in here for spring. So we'll see how this fight goes. Metal not even carrying the micro, he's just fighting. Spring's trying the micro. But, yeah, it looks like Metal's just gonna mop up this whole army. Uh, uh, it's close. It's close, but fighting uphill 
combined with fighting against skirms does make this really hard for metal. And he's actually lost a lot of his army. Alright. Uh, the bike right there from Spring just throwing that archer around, having it run all over the place. Uh, Spring is gonna lose his whole army, but Metal did lose a lot of his crossbow. And one TC for Metal, second TC up there, and three archer ranges at the moment. He's probably considering throwing down uh, another one once he gets the uh, wood income for it. But, uh, Town Center there, that's gonna be denied. And, you can see, no ballistics does make this a little difficult. Town Center stalled for the time being. Don't know where Spring's second Town Center is gonna go. I don't think he's even pulling down yet. He hasn't, still has a hundred stone. And that's. Uh, it's. Kind of his best TC placement he's got, just to defend this gold. And he's just going full skirms right now. He's not caring to do anything else. University, he's going to be getting ballistics. He's getting leather archer armor at the moment, which will make these skirms even take here against the crossbow. And yeah, more crossbow out. I think Metal should tap into some knights. He's probably hesitant to do that just because of the free pikeman upgrade. But if you were to send just a few knights out here, they'd be able to mop up all of these germs. And these crossbow are gonna die, so he's got to run. And this is a really nice hill for spring. Uh, yeah, this entire middle's full of hills. So, uh, yeah, these two hills here gonna make they're gonna make it really difficult for either player to uh, advance up them if the other player is standing there uh, spring running forward a new harassment with these skirms and you can see five skirms with one shot crossbow and yeah there's the first knight from metal and he's gonna be coming out with a couple more but no upgrades for them, which means these crossbow that uh, Spring's now mixing in. Uh, it means they're going to be able to take them down pretty easily. And yeah, there's scale barding for metal. That means he's uh, going to get plus one pierce armor and melee armor on his knights. But he's going to need chain barding if... Uh, he wants to make these at least decent against this army. He has gone forward his, uh, some of his own crossbow, though. He's picked off one vill so far. And that's it for now. He might find two. Uh, yeah, he's found the second one over there. Uh, third one, actually. So, eh, not too bad. Uh, he needs to run for his entire army. There's gonna die. Uh, Spring did get that TC up. Uh, I'm not sure where the second one is. Okay, second one's right there. Uh, but yeah, Metal's just now walling up. He's now got a Siege Workshop. He's gonna get a Meganel out. There it goes. Here comes the Meganel. Two Meganels out. And if he gets some nice big shots on these crossbow, then that could really throw this game in his favor. Coming out with a second Siege Workshop. He's going to need a lot of villagers on gold to keep up with this production. And yeah, he's going to need to go out to these golds. It's almost out of gold. It doesn't have enough mills on... Or it doesn't have enough space for all these mills, so I'm trying to say. And Meadow's now buying stone. Probably for another town center, yeah. There it is. On that gold, real nice. You can collect that gold and also keep his mills safe. Uh, but now he's gone with Knights and Meganels. He's kind of stopped with his archer production. So, uh, he seems to be focusing more on his economy. And selling 600 wood, you can tell he's thinking of going up to the Imperial Age. So, like, once again, Metal's going for the Imperial Age. And I don't know if Spring's even close. Nope! So, same strategy. 
all three games. Metal goes up to the Imperial Age, and Springs left behind in the Castle Age. We'll have to see if it pays off this time. First game, eh, not so much. Second game, it really did. With uh, the monks and conquistadors. This game, Ethiopians. Uh, eh, they could probably do it with uh, Fast Imperial. And he can get the Onager upgrade, is definitely something he's going to be getting. And uh, Arbalest, he could also get. I think Ethiopians get Cavalier. And uh, yeah, Cavalier. Uh, of course they get Cavalier. Uh, I think there's only two Sibs that don't get Cavalier. I'm trying to remember what they are. I think it's Saracens don't get Cavalier. And I don't remember the other Sib. Oh, but whatever. He could get Cavalier. He's gonna get Arbalest. He's gonna get Onager. And he's gonna run right into this army with his Meganos. I know I don't use him. Fighting uphill. Yeah, didn't even kill one. He is getting some nice shots off, though. But fighting uphill, yeah, lost one, might lose the other, uh, but he did pick up one there, so that's kind of nice for him. And then we get another shot off, nope, it went down. But yeah, these things here are really interesting. Uh, one for one there, so all the Mega Dolls have gone down, Knights are coming out to kill that monk. Very nice. But these Knights are going to die with, without... Uh, chain Barney, and the uh, knights are just gonna get shot down by this crossbow. Another Megan Elk coming out, but by the time it gets here, uh, Spring is also gonna have his own. One for one. Nope. That crossbow did die though. But Megan is still alive, and I don't know, he's making a batter grab, and not a bad idea, you can use it as a meat shield. But. Uh, is banging another siege workshop. Just more, uh, more siege production. Getting bracer, getting chemistry, and waiting for the auditor upgrade, but he doesn't have resources for it quite yet. And, uh, I keep forgetting to do this. Um, Springs of Elite Council now probably on the hill. Yep, here it is. Uh, Arbalest and Bracer are almost done. And just kind of fucking on this hill. That Mega Hill's gone down. That Mega Hill's almost gone down. Metal wants to build a castle. Uh, he lost that Mega Hill. He brought it a repair, but couldn't quite repair it in time. Yeah, Metal wants to build this castle, but he's gonna need to fight. He's gonna need to fight off this army first. Megadel's trading back and forth, and Metal comes in alive. And here come the bills to build the castle. It's not gonna happen yet. And I'm not sure how the scrims got there. Maybe they just ran past. But Megadel out here for Spring. He could kill all these bills. And Spring now advancing to the Imperial Age. Probably learns from his past mistakes in building it, like way back here, or these town centers. Don't. He's built it in a different one. Okay. Why in this one? Oh, I guess because there's a castle on that hill as well. So, eh, yeah. I, I don't think that town center is going down. Metal doesn't even know it's there, so that's. Okay. It's. Eh. It's not really in danger of being lost like it was the previous game. So, uh, I'm interested to see if one of these players will go with Shotos. Uh, they're very good against Siege. Oh, okay, here we go. Spring is the first one to find this gold mine. And he's also found this one up here, which he's gonna put a town center on. He's searching for the relics with uh, this monk. Uh, very nice design, not one you really see all that much, but I really like the Ethiopian monk, uh, monk sprite, it's kind of nice. But Spring was the first one to find these golds, 
And I don't think Bell's even seen this these golds yet. Yeah, he still doesn't even know. So uh Spring's gonna have an advantage when it comes to gold income. And uh Trace. Uh Metal is leading the truck war. And he also has caps rams out here. And this castle, it's probably gonna go down. It's got six repairs, but with two trebs out, it's not enough. And probably one more volley, and then go down. Also, Bombard Canyons. So, yeah, that castle's definitely going down. And I really thought Metal would do the Onager upgrade, but he's decided to not do that and go for Siege Engineers uh, instead. And that gives your. And that gives your. Siege plus one range. So these Bombard Cans get 13 range. We're gonna take out the Mekonels. Gonna take out the Skirms. So. Uh, it, it could go either way at this point. Arbalest and Honors are now for Spring. And also getting Bracer. So these Skirms are gonna be. Really tanky units against the Arbalest. Onager are gonna kill the Arbalest. Uh, Bombard Cannon's gonna kill the Onagers and the Skirms. So this could really go in either player's favor. That castle is gonna go down for Spring. So he's gonna be behind the Treb production. I don't even think he has another castle. Okay, he has that castle there. Uh, Onager down, they're running forward. Takes out one trend. Can he take out the Bombard Cannon? And, oh, nice shot there on those Arbalests. Uh, losing both of his honors though, the castle's gone down. He got one trev out. Honager's gone down. Yeah, so even though he's ahead in gold, uh, income, he's behind. Uh, Spring's behind a military. Was that a castle? Tell me that was a castle. Okay, it's probably just a siege workshop. Yeah, it wasn't a castle. Uh, you can almost build another castle. Um, siege workshop's gonna be trying to make monitors. He's got one for now. And it's not really gonna cut it. If he does get a nice shot off of these armless, though, that'd be amazing. I really want to see Torsten engines, but I don't think it's going to happen. It rarely happens in expert games. Uh, Torsten engines. Uh, the Ethiopian uh, unique upgrade, which gives their siege units extra uh, range. Or not range, but like splash damage. So their archers do a lot more uh, damage to units. And here's the show tells for metal. And the show tells are going to be great at picking off the monitors. And could also raid quite nicely. And metal now with a, an outpost up here. Um, uh, yeah, he sees that gold. He uh, sees this castle going up, so he probably guess there's something over here that Spring's defending. And if you were to guess, it's probably going to be a gold mine. Uh, Barracks coming out now. Uh, is Ethiopian going for champion? Um, Ethiopians only get two handed swordsmen, though. Uh, how, maybe Halberdier? Uh, yeah, that seems to be his uh, plan is to go with Halberdier. I was to say, like, Ethiopian two handed swordsman? Not sure why you do that. Uh, but a castle going up there for spring. And uh, kind of right where the other one was. I don't think it's going to stay up for long, though. With uh, these Bombard Cannons. And the Shotel's coming in and destroying everything. Skirm's going down. The Siege Ogres. Alright, just the other one. Just going down. And. It's, yeah, it doesn't look good for spring. He's coming out with Arbalest, and yeah, he's got the resources to do it again. He's low on wood, though, and this gold's almost run out. He's losing control of this gold, and that gold he might lose control of soon. 
Uh, oh, he's losing the front opener. Let's get my shot off on those show shells. And show shells with only four pierce armor there. Not the greatest against uh, archers. But against the skirms, they'll, they'll do alright. And Metal's keeping these armors back. He knows he doesn't want them anywhere near these armors. This town center is gonna go down. And I'm not sure what Sprig has as a response to this. He's got a few auditors, he's got some marvelous. But he doesn't have a way to stop these bombard cannons. And if he were to make his own show tells, he could maybe sneak in there. But he doesn't have a castle. So I think he has a castle. Yeah, he doesn't have a castle. And, oh, no, just kidding. He has this one up here. What am I saying? So, yeah, he's making his own show tells. Might be considering raiding, which is what he's doing with these guys down here. And a nice quick ball there from the metal. Even though he's focused up here, he can still look back at quick ball. It's crazy. Like, you gotta be impressed by these guys. Uh, but the show tells 16 attack. They're already really good against buildings. And I don't think Spring has arson. Uh, but if he got arson, then he could run in with these show tells and take out quite a lot of uh, Metal's economy. And he's gotta be careful though. They're pretty weak against arrow fire. But he's being pushed in. But what is this? Scouts? Ethiopian scouts? Wait, how does... One, two... Uh... Yeah, okay. Three plus six on the scout. Okay. I was wondering how that happens, but... You get plus two, you get feud wage, and Ethiopians get... Uh, all of the... Attack upgrades. So, yeah, plus six, so that's right. And getting like out now. So, uh, Metal's probably hurting for gold at this point. And nope! He's actually, he's got plenty of resources. Maybe he this all day. And he doesn't know this is down here. But he has an outpost, he might see this. Yeah, he sees this. So, he could harass that. Woodline, which would be real bad for a spring. And could come around this side and take out all those farms. Uh, but a castle going over here for a spring. And he's trying to hold on. But uh, forward castle from the middle is kind of going to prevent a uh, spring from going anywhere, even if he does push this army back. And Shotel's full upgrades doesn't have the elite Shotel upgrade. And capture amps. And gonna take out these production buildings. Gonna be not good to say the least. Uh, but I'm not. I really don't see a way that Spring can hold on here. He has light cav. They're not fully upgraded. They only have the first attack and defense upgrades. And I'm not sure where the uh, metals are was went. And uh, maybe they all died. But uh, yeah, it looks like they did to the skirts. But it's gonna be rough for Spring. He still has this gold, but it's almost run out. And that gold's almost run out as well. The only gold on the map is right there, right there, and I think these have all been cleaned up. Yeah, they have. So, Metal's got control of the only golds on the map. So it's going to make it really hard for Spring. He's going to be forced to do a trash war. Which, yeah, against this RB comp is the best. You, you can see the Bombard Cannons will take out the Archers. And uh, Metal got the 
power gear upgrade. He can keep making light cows. He can keep making skirms. He's at his population limit. And yeah, there's really not a whole lot that's right now. He is holding on though. But I don't think he has a way to push back. Is uh, the problem. So he's gonna try. And metal with 150 vills. I think he's got way more vills than he needs, to be honest. Uh, he's could probably just start deleting bills. And Springy is collecting the relics. He does have three relics. So that's going for him. He's losing this wood line though. To the light calf. He's going to lose a bunch of farmers. And if Spring comes around. Alright, no. If Metal comes around this side, he can lose all these farmers. So Spring does have a very vulnerable economy. And that's real bad for the late game because of this very reason. You just get Light Calf running in, or in this case, Shell Zell Warriors running in. And I really want to see Metal do this just because I love it. Just make a bunch of Shotels run in and take out these town centers. GG. Come on. Uh, but yeah, on this side, kind of a stalemate for these guys. Spring is holding on with what he has. The relics are giving him a little bit of gold. Not a lot, but some. And it's enough to hold on. Uh, but he's working with what he's got. And he's doing alright with it, too. Uh, he's being raided up here. He's lost control over here. He's being raided down here. Oh, what? Just kidding, he's not being raided. And these are just villagers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they can, they can just chop together and already mixture of red and blue bills on the map. No big deal. Uh, um, losing an onisher to a single light calf in his own base, and that's not good. And that is probably the worst farm placement I've ever seen. Mills all the way over there. Oh wait, no, there's Miller. Just kidding, forget what I just said. Uh, then, uh, yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah, Spring, that's the only castle it's got, and it's being tracked down. He's gonna lose it. And, wait, no, that's not the only castle he's got, he's got the one down here. Oh no, it went, yeah, it went down. What am I saying? Um, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that cow's gone down, which means no more show tells for him. Look at his resources, he's got no gold left. Um, or his metal, he's got... He's got decent resources. Uh, yeah. Halves, like have Sturms. They're gonna take out everything. He has a spring calling the GG. So, metal wins. Uh, the third game makes it 2-1. And Metal got his 2k2 score that he was looking for. ZLO's back up to 2k2 where he likes it. And I don't know if these guys are going to play anymore. Uh, but these are some great games for me too. Uh, uh, look at the achievements. Uh, here's the achievements for anyone who's interested. Uh, yeah, Spring is definitely uh, outdone it military-wise. Lost way more units than he killed. And, yeah, he was being pushed back. So, yeah, a uh, pretty nice game. Uh, definitely a good one to uh, break the tie between these guys. So... Yeah, uh, well done from them, and I thank you, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you amazing people, and I will see you all in the next video.